notice that the waterfalls, the waterfalls stopped working, uh, and the water had stopped coming out of the return pipe. So I had a, a closer look, and the water was gushing out of this pipe. There's a split in it. I've just undone this Jubilee clip and removed the pipe. And I'm now going to unscrew this fitment, get the whole thing off and see if I can uh, reseal it all. Right, so I've got all this gunk off. This is the... Uh, it hadn't split, it had just come loose. So I'm going to use this pond mastic to glue it back on there. The pump's been off for 24 hours now uh, to let that uh, component that I've bonded together with the solvent set. And whilst the blanket weed's dried up on the waterfall, I'm going to take this opportunity to get rid of it, probably. I'm going to sort of wire brush out. The plants are starting to recover from being demolished by the koi spawning, and the uh, the part that I'm going to put back on is now rock solid, and the solvent that I've uh, put on is set. Now that's, that's bringing it off okay. Brushed it back to the concrete as best I can, but I'm going to have to uh, do a mix of well, ready mix cement, I'll just add the water to it and do some repairs. Where this part of the waterfall joins the bottom part, some of the cement's crumbled over the years and there is a line underneath here to stop the uh, water soaking into the ground if it get, penetrates through the waterfall, but I'm just going to repair this and uh, there's various other bits and bats that want Securing when these conifers were growing and they weren't cut back The roots used to push this waterfall and it's Dislodged the found foundations a little bit. So I'll mix some cement and get some uh, Minor repairs done Then get the uh, Filters back together Wait for the cement to go off and we should be up and running again had this line in the garage so not much left of it but probably just enough to do the job I'm not going to use a trowel I'll just put some gardening gloves on and do it by hand I'm going to have to move pretty quick now because it's, it's fast drying this stuff. So first of all I'll sort this, this crack out in the, uh, just push it in. Right, I blended it in with the gloves and get a bit of moss on that and it should just blend in. I didn't have enough cement to repair every single crack, but the main thing is the part's been repaired where the water's going to be flowing over it. This has ended up being a lot more 
substantial than I expected. The mastic that I've used is set rock hard and previously where this joint slid on they put a uh, plumber's solvent in the gap and over time this top bit came loose well that won't happen this time so I'm going to put some plumber's tape around here I won't be able to film that because I'm going to need both hands um, then we'll when this we'll fit it back to the pond and when the cement's gone off on the waterfall we should be back in business just make sure I get the uh, washer in to seal it and get it on finger sight make sure it's not cross threaded And we'll nip it up. Don't want to overdo it, but that's just about right. I'll get Jubilee clip on now. All back, tightened up and sealed. Happy days. Give it another couple of hours for the cement to set and we'll switch everything back on. Cement's completely dry now so time to turn the pump on. Dry as a bone, so everything's running fine. Waterfall's looking a lot better without that blanket weed all over it. The cement's nice and dry now. If you're enjoying the videos, please like and subscribe. Your support is much appreciated. And thanks for watching. Pomfret's Pond.